everyone, my name is Jade, and I'm very happy today to be here with Investors Mark to talk about my startup, Catapult. It's a startup that I founded back in January 2019, this year. And I like to describe myself as a maker. So I have a, an engineering background. I like to build, break, and experiment with things. And I've been like this since I was very little. So while working in Mauritius as an engineer, I soon realized that I wasn't too happy about the culture around me. I didn't find people who were innovating, who were afraid of challenging the status quo. And I didn't really find people who were really passionate about what they did. So at this point in my quest to understand why and what was happening, I came to realize that I wanted this culture of innovation here that I couldn't find yet. And while doing this, I came up with the idea of Catapult. It didn't even have a name then. The aim of the project was to educate children um, so that they become the future change makers of tomorrow and to equip them with the skills and the culture to do that. So in terms of culture, um, they would be able to challenge the status quo and they would be able to test out their ideas without fear of judgment and they wouldn't take it for granted what they were told they would challenge that too and in terms of skills we would equip them with 21st century skills today catapult design and delivers workshops for children in coding and robotics and we start as from six years old up to 18 years old and we have after school clubs holiday camps and one-off workshops but we also do corporate events as well One of our workshops is called Creative Coding, where we teach children how to create their own video games and how to create their own controllers. So they start by storyboarding the scenario of the video game and they start by creating their own characters that they then use code to animate. We teach them code through block-based programming. So we, it's like Lego but for programming. So the blocks of code stack up and they fit within each other just like Lego. And through this workshop, they also learn how to create their own controller, that little electronic boards that they can then control their video games. We like to think of our workshop as art and design integrated into technology. So I want to tell you the story of one of, our, um, of the workshops that I delivered recently. It's called Thirsty Meter. It's the story of Ben the Bean. Sadie the Cloud and Poe the Human. So Poe the Human plants Ben the Bean in the garden and Ben is a bean and he sees all those beautiful plants around him and he wants to grow up and become just like all of the beautiful plants in the garden. So every now and then his friend Sadie the Cloud will come and give him water. But Sadie is a cloud, right? So she comes as she wants because she's like the weather. She decides when she wants to come and then she just so one day, Ben gets really thirsty, he looks for Sadie the Cloud, but he cannot find him anywhere. And that's when he needs to call upon Bo the human to water him, right? But how does he communicate with Bo because he doesn't speak the same language? And that's where we ask the kids to intervene. So we ask them to build a thirsty meter to tell, so that they can tell how thirsty Ben is. In reality, it's a plant moisture sensor that they build uh, just to say whether uh, the plant needs more moisture or needs more water and then it's an indicator of how moist the soil is. This is how we intertwine our technology so that we embark the children on this adventure. One of the characteristics of our workshop is that it's very interactive and hands-on. We understand that not every child learns the same way. So our material takes care of different types of learners. We have audio for the people who respond better with audio. We have hands-on learning where they actually are building things. We also have illustrated materials so that 
the children who respond better with visual can engage in the class. And we have project-based learning where they are given a project and then they can decide to lead the project however they want and we act as coaches and guides so that it's a guided learning.